Hello, welcome back to Blastrichy Live Learning. In this episode, I'll be demonstrating how you can set up um, geometry nodes to listen to animation nodes and also to use it with Spectral. Alright, so this is one of the result. So I have sound in the background uh, and I have this default cube that's actually spawning a lot of other default cubes. This is recording. And you can see here. Um, this is the representation of geometry nodes that's being driven by audio. On the right side here, you have this remeshed um, instance of this cube. So you might think, okay, wait, what's actually going on? Yeah, so first of all, I started by recording my sound and then I simply import it into Blender using the video sequence editor. So I just uh, in this in this video sequence editor, shift A and just import the sound. So there is a sound happening. And then the next thing I did was to use animation nodes. And with animation nodes, I just plug in the input sound, and then it's the time frame. And then I'm using this sound spectrum to to sample and read the sound. And and then I let it to drive the default cube. So this guy is driving the default cube. So the default cube is actually animating thanks to animation nodes. And then I switch to geometry nodes. With geometry nodes, if I select the cube, so I have this guy and I'm spawning some random boxes on the default cube. And on top of that, I'm using the animations that's actually happening in real time. So I'm reading itself and I know it's animating in the in the z-axis and then I'm actually using it to drive the points. Um, so, I, so I'm driving the points by simply pushing its position based on its own position. I mean I'm kind of like multiplying the position using the uh, the amplitude or the intensity of the sound. Hello, test, test. This is a recording. And then I simply spawn some cube using point instancer. This is Blender 2.92, by the way. So you can't just use uh, point to volume, volume to mesh. That's why I turn it into point instance. And after I turn it into point instance, in order to make it live, I'm using actually the, the Alembic. This is I'm exporting it out as Alembic because I want to process it further using stretch of nodes. And I know that with stretch of nodes, um, I can read, I can read any objects and turning it into mesh that's already merged. That's why I can remesh it. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of things going on. But the, the Alembic animations is coming here. If I, okay, this guy over here. This is all real objects, or maybe it's instance. No, that's real. This is real objects, and I bring it into Spectral. And I give it a little bit of noise displacement. I can displace it more. But the result is this this guy over here. So it looks like liquid. This, this, this is a recording. It's actually real time if I'm not recording. This is a recording. It has this uh, kind of liquid ish look. It's a recording. In fact, this is just all just a spawn default cube, default cube that has been this place and yeah just think of it like a audio real-time audio that's displacing the cube I have a bit of a cheat here using noise displacement so it's kind of like moving around just like a like a real creature or something in, if, if I'm not wrong in reality I can I can select all this cube and then make it I just subdivide it. 
uh, test test this is a recording so i subdivided the cube hoping that scratch up uh, scratch up will understand what's going on and just use the post modifier and simply updates so yeah it, it, it does work like that um because this is scratch up i can Made effect on my this guy and simply multiply so this guy is a single merge mesh that you can just use use it with remesh object. Test, test, test. This is the recording. Yeah, so it's become like, like this kind of liquid looking objects. Test, Almost like a meta balls. Actually, you, Spreadshock has meta balls if you want to use that as well. But yeah, this is, this is how uh, this is an this example is where animation nodes is using the input sound and then driving, driving all this cube distribution of this cube. Kind of pushing it based on the sound intensity and then after i do that sphere job is kind of processing the whole objects and turning it into a mesh it's a bit hacky but if you think about it they are all kind of working together if geometry nodes have like limit uh, limitations in terms of the nodes currently i think of geometry nodes simply just like a points distributions and instancing so it's really actually already really powerful for that matters you can easily instance objects and then bake it out as alembic like in this case once you bake it out as alembic it's become real objects and you can bring it back into blender and process it further like using stretch or whatever all right so yeah it's a lot of things going on here although everything is really pretty simple it's just like passing the data like audio data into intensity and then using that intensity to drive the cube etc all right so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye